Hello everybody and welcome back to your second HTML tutorial and today we're actually going to get started on coding a website. So to begin with we're going to create a new file and we're going to come up in to save as and we're going to navigate to our desktop or wherever you want to save our website. We're going to make a new folder called website and inside there we're going to call our folder uh, sorry our file index.html and what index.html is it's the starting page of your website so if you can just remember that index.html it's fairly short and simple that's where uh, websites begin from uh, when you upload it to a uh, web server uh, that's going to be the first one that it loads when someone clicks on your site so fantastic so the first thing we need to do to begin our coding journey is this very simple doc type oh, sorry. Doc, uh, doc type html alrighty so what this is telling the browser um, you can load lots of different types of files in a web browser it's not just html files we can load pdfs we can load images we can load svgs we can load all kinds of things uh, mp3 mp4 so we're just letting the website know that this is a HTML uh, file. And to do that, we just write doc type HTML. Now in older versions, you would have to specify what version, but uh, in the latest version, that is not necessary. So we can just leave that. And the next thing we're going to do is create a body uh, and head tag. Now these are called tags. So uh, we'll just finish that. So you can see two tags here. We've got the first body tag, and then we've got another body tag that looks very similar. We just have this slash. And what the slash means is that it's the end body tag. So we begin the body and we end the body with this. And it's the same for the head. We begin the body with this head and we end it at this head. So just remember slash is the end of a tag. And uh, without the slash, it begins the tag. So what are these body and head tags and what do they mean? Well, it's very simple. Oh, sorry, head should be first, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, a head is where all the thinking of our page happens. So it's kind of the behind the scenes things. So for example, we're going to put inside our head our title tag. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us that nice little title up the top of our web browser. And we can call our website whatever we want. I'm going to call it unicorn fan page number one. <laughs> but you can call it whatever you want to call it. That's just what I'm going to be making. It's a uh, unicorn fan page, apparently. <laughs> so uh, if we were to save this, we just hit the save button up here. And we're going to say always yes so if we save that and we minimize we come to our website folder and we click on h uh, on index we open it up in our browser you can see unicorn fan page number one fantastic so that's working um, the next thing we're going to do is actually put some things inside of our page so currently it's just a blank it's a bit ugly it's not much going on so if we were to just type some random uh, nonsense here and load the page, you can see that that comes up as plain text. Um, now, if we wanted to make this a big header, uh, let's say we want to say, we'll make it the biggest header possible. Okay. And to do that, we're going to use H1 and that just stands for header one. Okay. And we're just going to put in here, I'm going to put unicorn band page. If we refresh, we have Unicorn Fan Page. So this is a very simple website, uh, but it gets some basic ideas across. And we can just underneath that say, hello, this is a Unicorn Fan Page. And there we go. That is a very simple website that we've made. Um, so if we were to do h2 we can also just put a second header 
and say maybe see more below and you can see that it gets a bit smaller because uh, header 2 is secondary to header 1 so header 1 is our main header header 2 is a little smaller if we did header 3 it would be even smaller than that so this is a very simple web page but I think that's where we're going to leave it for the first tutorial uh, I want to do very quick bite-sized tutorials uh, for this series so we're going to leave it there for today, but uh, next time we're going to add onto our website. We're going to make it a bit nicer. It's very simple at the moment, uh, but rest assured we'll get there in no time. So thanks for staying tuned, and I shall see you next time.